So you clicked on this video because you were trying to send your mate an insane clip. Discord said, nup, get nitro. And you said, not going to happen. Or you were trying to send a file from your phone to your PC and you just couldn't figure out how to do it without first like sending it to your friend on Telegram and then going to your PC and downloading it and then saying, don't worry, I'm just sending it to myself. And you thought, I bet Mugs can help. Well, he can help. I mean, I can help. Okay, so let me introduce you to the wonderful world of file sharing, also known as cloud storage. So these are services that allow us to upload files, not just small files like the 50 megabyte limit on Discord, but absolutely massive files like multiple gigabyte giant videos. They're totally free, or at least the ones we're going to talk about are, and they're accessible on PC, Android, and iOS. All right, now that you know what they are, let's talk about the first one. So I use this one all the time to send myself clips from my phone to my PC and it's incredibly easy to use. If you're on PC, you can use the website or the app to send and receive your files, but if you're on mobile, you'll have to use the app. Alright, the next file sharing service we're going to talk about is WeTransfer. So this one honestly may be the easiest and most convenient one since you can use the app or the web version on both PC and mobile. The only real downside is that there are some strict limits on how much you can use it as a free user. The limits are share and receive up to three gigabytes per month. You can do 10 transfers per month and you can set the transfer expiry limit up to three days. So yeah, this one is really best if you're just doing a few fairly small transfers every month. All right, and the last one I'm going to show you in this video is Google Drive. So this is one that most of you should be familiar with, at least by name, but it is a little bit more complicated to use than the other two. The big advantage that this one has over the other two is that this one's actually designed for long-term file storage. So it has features like being able to create folders, as well as to set restrictions on who can access the files. But this one's great because you can use it as like a collaboration space with your friends, or you can just use it to send files to other people or to yourself really quickly. 